it's Janine from the City Manager's Office. Demolition on the Dock C and Boat Launch Ramp project has started with the dismantling of Dock C. Once enough material has been accumulated, the contractor will float the material to the boat launch ramp and remove it to an approved disposal site. The boat launch ramp will remain open for a few more days and then will be closed for several months for renovation. Beginning Monday, February 13th, swim hours at the Aquatic Center will change due to annual training by Coronado High School on the diving boards on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoons. Swim hours will return to regular hours following the training and then annual maintenance in May. The hours and additional information are outlined on flyers found at the Community Center and in the City Manager's Weekly Update. The Aquatics Division is also training and hiring lifeguards and swim instructors. Call 619-522-2464 for more information. San Diego Gas and Electric is working to isolate a gas leak categorized as one not needing immediate repair near the intersection of Glorieta Boulevard and Jacinto Place. SDG&E personnel are hoping to locate the leak with minimal disruptions of the street asphalt. The work was scheduled to commence last week, but due to earlier storm events that caused critical damage throughout San Diego County, the work was rescheduled to Thursday, February 2nd. SDG&E has informed the city that if the leak becomes one requiring immediate repair after being unearthed, the, the crew will not leave the site until the leak is completely repaired. Interior work on the Glorieta Bay pump station has been completed and site restoration will be completed in the near future. This pump station is one of the key elements of Coronado's sewer infrastructure. It accepts all of the effluent generated south of Glorieta Bay Park to the city limits and then pumps it north to the Trans Bay pump station where it is pumped in the, across San Diego Bay. Uno, an 11-year-old German short hair pointer mix, is this week's pet of the week. This week's pet of the week is Uno. He is 11 years young, came in January 1st of this year, thus the name Uno. We think Uno is about 11 years old. You'd never tell that by the way he's, he's active, he's funny, likes to carry his toy, likes to bury his toy. Um, funny thing about him also, when he's out for a walk, he just chitter chats the whole time. He likes to talk to his walker and the people that he passes. Um, he'd be a really wonderful dog for somebody. He's a German short hair pointer, which we don't see very often, but he's uh, available at the Coronado Animal Care Facility. His adoption fee is $125. That includes his neuter, his microchip, current on all vaccines. He's ready to go and he's going to make somebody just a delightful, delightful pet. Aren't you? Can you go, uh -huh. Is that what you say? Huh? Are you happy here? If you would like to set up a visit with UNO, contact Paws of Coronado, which operates the Coronado Animal Care Facility on behalf of the city at 619-522-7371. The seventh annual Coronado Valentine's Day 10K, 5K, and one mile fun run will be held on Sunday, February 12th, beginning at Tidelands Park. 2,000 runners will head out from Tidelands along the Bayshore Bikeway toward the San Diego Coronado Bridge, then on to Glorieta Boulevard. The event will take up the northbound half of Glorieta, allowing only for southbound vehicle traffic. Runners pass the Coronado Yacht Club using both Strandway and the Bayshore Bikeway. Participants will then head to Glorieta Bay Park where they turn around and head back. A section of Pomona Avenue near Silver Strand Boulevard will be closed at 7 a.m. Traffic will be impacted along the route. For more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the City Manager's Weekly Update online.